Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming in to watch. I think the dog might be down there. Today, I'm making a video about nutrition. Well, you guys obviously read the title of this video. Just wanna to talk to you about kind of what I have been doing um, to lose like a stubborn five pounds that I've been trying to lose and I'm still trying to lose a little bit more weight. So I've been doing this for about six weeks now. So let me give you a little bit of context of kind of what my situation's about. So I'm a decathlete and if you're new to the channel, uh, that's a track and field event. Um, so you kind of do a little bit of everything, speed, power, endurance, jumping, running, throwing. Myself, I am 6'1". 6'2", um, and I was weighing, and I usually weigh about 215 pounds. Um, so for my height, I, I believe that I weigh a little bit too much. Um, I am a bigger body athlete, so I know that I will weigh a little bit more. I think I could, could just cut down a little bit. So in my past, I've tried almost everything under the sun for dieting keto paleo everything and nothing's really worked for me um so instead of trying to look for more complicated ways to try to fix my nutrition i just really took it way back and just went super super basic so i've read so much stuff about you need this much fat carbs proteins which is true to a sense but for weight loss, it doesn't have to be that complicated. For performance and optimizing everything in your body, it does get super important knowing every detail and such, but for losing weight, it's not that complicated. Um, so I took the approach of calories in versus calories out. And when I say that, that just means eating less calories than you burn in a day. Super simple. Because I'm an athlete, I try to eat a little bit more protein throughout my day to maintain my muscle mass and keep my performance up, but pretty much cut my carbs and cut my fats uh, pretty low because I just wanna lose weight. And that's really what I've had to do. So six weeks ago, I was weighing in about 215, like I said, um, this morning I weighed in at 209. That's the lowest I've been in probably a year and a half. I know a lot of it can be like what you ate the day before if your stomach's a little bit more full, the amount of water, but I do drink pretty much the same amount of water every single day. So I do know that I'm losing weight on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna let you know what I've been eating. Uh, this has just been working for me. Um, everybody's different. Some people that watch this might say, oh, you're starving yourself. I think when you're trying to lose weight, um, you need to accept that you're gonna be a little bit more hungry. When people ask like, oh, are you starving yourself? I'm not starving myself, I am hungry. Yes, but I'm not starving myself in any sense of the word. Here we go, this is what a day in the life of a decathlete trying to lose weight. It's pretty simple. Um, I start my day off, just brew some coffee. Yeah, everybody knows how to brew coffee. Um, and then I use sweetener and uh, cream or milk, doesn't really matter to me, and then I'll go and have breakfast. So breakfast lately has been um, half a cup of egg whites or three quarters of a cup of egg whites. And then I go with two whole eggs uh, just cause I don't like just plain egg whites. So that's what I do. Um, and in the past I've had bread, like a piece of bread with that or oatmeal with that. So I've just cut that out and I've just moved to like three pieces of bacon. Sometimes I don't even make the bacon if it's too early, then I just don't. Breakfast usually is enough to keep me kind of full throughout practice. Most likely, if you guys have worked out before, once you start to work out, you don't really have an appetite. So I found if I eat enough to get myself good up till practice, 
then I start to work out and then I don't really have uh, an appetite while I'm working out. I'm never like, oh, I wish I could eat some bacon or something. I move into my post-workout, which also isn't complicated. So I've just been having um, one and a half to two scoops of protein. Uh, like I said before, I'm trying to keep my protein a little bit higher um, just so I don't have to burn as much muscle to lose the weight. Um, so yeah, two scoops of protein, usually just with water, and then also a scoop of creatine in there just for the muscle power. Um, if you haven't heard about creatine, just let me know down in the comments um, and I can make a video about that. So if I practice in the morning, I'd have breakfast and then do the workout and then immediately after have my post-workout shake, just protein. Um, and then I come home and then at that point I'll usually start to get hungry. So then this has been like a game changer for the past four or five weeks. Um, I've just been having a very, very, very super simple um, salad. Um, so I don't know if you guys have ever bought them in the grocery store. They're here in Canada. I don't know if they're down in the States or wherever you guys live. Uh, they're called like these superfood salads. So everybody's like fallen in love with them. They are really good, but they're very expensive. So I just looked at the ingredients list and it's really just cabbage, sliced cabbage that's chopped up for like volume. There's kale. Um, I think there's some carrots. If there's not, then that's what I've just added. And then there might be like a tiny bit of lettuce, but it's really just cabbage and kale. So we have a food processor, most people do. So all you need to do is chop up a head of cabbage and you just like dice it up and then feed it through a food processor and then take a whole head of kale and just do the exact same thing. And then I put carrots and then some radishes in there because I like uh, pepper and radishes taste like pepper. Um, so I've just been doing that and then the dressing in those packages is just a poppy seed dressing. So I just buy poppy seed dressing. And then they have like a mix of like nuts and cranberries. So I just buy sunflower seeds and cranberries. So I'll make a huge tub of that. And then, yeah, just take two, three, four full hand scoops of that. And it will last like a week usually. So it depends on how hungry I am to how much I put in. Uh, if I'm super hungry, I just load up more on those like superfood salads. Yeah, I'll put the dressing on and all the other jazz. And then I'll just have that with some type of protein. Um, so I've been having a lot of fish lately or chicken or beef. It's just whatever we buy or whatever I feel like making. Um, so it's not too complicated, so just have your set protein, have that, and then just fill up on your vegetables. And it's really good for like your micronutrients as well. So the micronutrients are like all your vitamins, minerals and stuff. They say like eat like dark leafy greens, kale, eat more vegetables, like all the cabbage, all the carrots. So it's super, super simple after, super full. Don't get hungry until pretty much dinner. And then throughout the day, I'll just be drinking water and I'll put some amino acids in it sometimes just for like the flavor change of to just water. BCAAs are just more simple or simply, um, hmm, I don't wanna mess this up. They are easier chains of protein, if that makes sense. So when you eat protein, they get broken down into these kind of things. Dinner, it's pretty much the exact same thing that I ate for lunch. So it sounds pretty boring, but I really do like those salads. And 
they've been working for me. So I'll have a different protein. Um, usually me and Caroline make like two proteins. So it's usually something for lunch and something for dinner. And another huge like game changer has just been trying not to snack throughout the day. So in the past I'd have like something like I've been having now for breakfast, but then I would have like a snack in between that and lunch. And then I'd also have a snack in between lunch and dinner. So just by like cutting those out, you're, depending on how big your snacks are, you're almost cutting out like three or 400 calories. And to lose one pound a week, you have to be in a deficit of 500 calories per day. So one pound a week is equal to 3,500 calories. So that's 500 calories a day. You have to be in the negative. So if you're burning this much and you eat this much, then you're just gonna be maintaining. If you burn this much and you eat this much, you're gonna gain weight. And if you burn this much and you eat this much, then you're gonna lose weight. So it's very simple. It's like super simple. Yeah, it's not rocket science. Unfortunately, it's taken me a year or so to kind of understand that it's not rocket science. So if I told you something new today that you didn't know in the past, or I explained something other than BCAAs um, that you guys didn't know, give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Um, and if you guys really enjoyed the video, then go on over to the subscribe button and hit it and follow along the journey of me and Caroline. Other than that, I hope you guys have a sweet day or sweet night and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.